गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू माय सेल्फ डॉक्टर राघविंद सिंह असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर यू पी प्रयागराज आज मैं आप लोगों को डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस बीएससी फर्स्ट ईयर के सिलेबस एंड पेपर और टॉपिक के बारे में डिस्कशन करूंगा। फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर कोर्स हमारा है डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस कोर्स कोड है यू जी एम एन एंड बी एम एम एन इसमें टू ब्लॉक हैं ब्लॉक वाइज सिलेबस है फर्स्ट ब्लॉक में सेट रिलेशन फंक्शन एंड इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज सेकंड ब्लॉक में डिफरेंशियल कैलकुलस इंस्ट्रक्शंस टू दी पेपर सेटर द असाइनमेंट क्वेश्चन पेपर मस्ट असिस द फॉलोइंग एक्सपेक्ट्स कैटेगरी ऑफ लर्निंग रिमेंबर एंड अंडरस्टैंडिंग अप्लाइंग एनालाइजिंग साइंथिस एंड इवेल्युएशन डिपेंडिंग अपॉन द नीड ऑफ कोर्स आउटकम्स द क्वेश्चन पेपर should be designed to have a numerical component as per the course the assignment question paper will contain question from first and second block only 40% of total syllabus in case where the syllabus contain only two block then first four units will be considered for the paper setting each question must be designed in such a way that it assess the concerned co for units it is mandatory to frame question to assess course outcome for the given courses the question paper shall have two section section a and section b the examiner shall set question specific to respective section section wise detail are as under mention section a cell can consist of short answer type questions approximate 200 to 300 words this section will essentially assess co's related to lower order thinking skills remembering and understanding it cell contain six questions with at least one question from each unit each question cell we have equal weightage of 2 marks and total weightage of section shall be 12 marks section b shall comprise long answer type question approximate 500 to 800 words this section shall specify the higher order thinking as well as lower order thinking skills analyzing applying evaluating and creating or remembering and understanding to be assessed and a map with the course outcome stated it shall contain three questions each question shall have equal weightage of 6 marks and total weightage of this section shall be 18 marks note in case where the course contain does not have the scope of the assessing higher order thinking skills questions may be framed to the assess or the lower order thinking skills as the course outcomes stated next internal coach choice can be given the questions upr2 the first year first semester bsc mathematics with effect from 2023 at 2 2024 semester first course code ugmm101 and and bmm101 course name differential calculus teaching scheme and tutorial 2 credits and credit assigned theory of 2 credit of 2 exam examination marks internal assessment 30 marks and semester exam 70 marks exam duration of 3 hours total marks is 100 course objective the course aims the student will able to understand about the set theory with application and also its properties to understand the concept of union intersection difference complement and the cartesian product of the set problems define the identify a set respect represent set by the listing method properties and the method of the venn diagrams to apply the de morgan's law to understand the relationship between equivalence classes and partitions 
course outcome on the successful completion of this course learner will be able to understand the concept of definition and properties with the help of the basic ones and its applications also understand the various type of relations the should be able to define a function and examine whether a given function is one one on two at completion of the course and students will be able to evaluate the determine even and odd function to understand and use the define the function and recognize its type and the inverse function to understand and function of mapping as a relation with some condition type of mapping injective map surjective map and bijective map is described in the unit to understand and direct image and inverse image of subset form function of a and function of derivative b and operation operation of union and intersection on the on them is discussed inverse map and condition when it is defined graph of a function composite of two function function of f and function of g that is g o f g composition of f and function of f o g function of composition of g properties are explained in this unit even and odd function monetizing and decreasing and non monetic decreasing function periodic function approximating introduction for the set of real numbers as complete ordered field is explained basic properties of the set of real absolute value and its properties are explained mapping of mod x minus a less than equal to b is studied in this unit block first set relation function and its properties unit first set and relation set theory type of sets operations and sets law of relating operation de morgan's law venn diagram cartesian product of two sets relation and definition and example domain and range of a relation type of relation composition function and relation and examples unit second function function or mapping direct and inverse map image of subsets under maps a real valued function of one variable inverse functions graph of function operations on the function composite of function even and odd function monotone function and periodic function approximating in introducing of as a complete ordered field basic properties of r absolute values interval on the set real unit 3 limits definition of limits of a function at a point of its domain algebra of limits infinite limits limits as one sided limits unit 4 continuity continuity definition and example algebra of the continuous function properties of the continuous function local boundary boundedness supremum and infimum of a function boundedness and intermediate values of theorem properties of continuous function over closed intervals type of this continuity image of a closed interval under continuous map blocks second differential calculus and derivatives differentiality of a function at a point definition of the derivatives of a function and its geometrical interpretation and derivatives of some simple function algebra of derivatives chain rule sign of the derivatives and monotonic function and continuity various differentiality derivatives of the exponential function and logarithmic function unit 5 derivatives of the hyperbolic function and some special function definition of hyperbolic function derivatives of inverse hyperbolic function method of differentiation logarithmic differentiation and derivatives of function definite in term of the parameters derivatives of explicit implicit function and derivatives of the trigonometric function derivative of the sine function 
derivative of the cosine function, the derivatives of the other trigonometric function, derivative of the tangent function, and derivative of inverse function, derivative of the inverse trigonometric function. Use the transformations. Unit six successive and differentiation, second and third order derivatives, nth order derivatives, Leibniz theorems and Maclean series and Taylor series. Unit seven mean value of theorem rules. Rolle's theorem and Lagrange's mean value theorems and Cauchy mean values theorem. Assignment 30 marks. The question paper will comprise a total of two parts. Part A carrying of 12 marks. Part B carrying of 18 marks. Part A analytic problem solving question 4 into 3 equal 12 marks. Candidates have to answer three questions out of four marks. Part B descriptive analytical and problem solving question. 6 into 3 marks, total 18 marks. Candidate have the question answer 33 out of 4. Note, weights of the each block's units will be equal as mentioned in syllabus. End semester theory examination. The question paper will comprise a total of three parts. Part A carrying 48 marks. Part B carrying out of 10 marks. And part C carrying of 12 marks. Part A, Descripting Analytic Problems Solving Question 16 into 3, 48 marks. Candidate have to 3 question out of 6 question. Part B, Analytical Problems Solving Questions 1 into 10 marks, total 10 marks. Candidate have to 1 question out of 2 question. Part C, Analytic and Problem Solving Question 2 into 6, total 12 marks. Candidate have a answer 2 question out of 3. Note, weightage of each block units will be equal as a mention in the syllabus. Unit first, set and relation. Aaj main aap logo ko unit first ke baare mein discussion karna chahta hoon. Discussion karunga unit first mein aapke syllabus aur uske topic mein kya kya aapko padhna hai. First unit hai aapki set and relation. Introduction, the nation and the terminology of the set theory which hai was originated in the year 1895 by the German mathematician G. Cantor in our daily life. We often use faces of words such as a bunch of keys, a pack of cards, a class of students, a team of players etc. The words of bunch, pack, class and team all denote a collection of the several discrete objects. Also, the dictionary meaning of a set is a group of a collection of distinct, definite, definite and distinguished will and objective selected by means of some rules or descriptions. In this unit, we will introduce set and various examples of sets. Then, we will discuss type of the sum operation on set. We will also introduce when diagrams are protocol ways of the description set, Cartesian product of two sets, relation, equivalence, relation, order, relation, equivalence, class, partition of a set, and knowledge of the material covered in this unit is necessary for studying any mathematics course. So please study this unit carefully. It was the set. It was the first of all used the George Contour according to him, a set is any collection into a whole of definite and distinct objective of our institution of or through. However, the contours defini definition for face contour arise due to the form like definite and collection into a whole letter on a single word. Distinguishable use to make the definition acceptable a uh, set is any collection of the distinct and distinguishable objective around us. By the form distinct, we mean that no object is repeated. And some like the team distinguishable, we mean that the whether the object is in our collection or not. The object belonging to a set are called as elements or members of that set. For example, say A is set of stationery used by any student that is A is equal to pen, pencil, eraser and sharpness paper. 
uh, a set is the represented by using all its elements between brackets curly brackets and by separating theme them from each other by commas if there are more than one elements as we have seen sets are denoted by capital letters of english alphabet while the elements are divided in the general but small letter if x is an element of a set a we write x belongs to a read as x belong to a if x is not an element of a we write x does not belong to a read as x does not belong to a example let a is equal to 42826 the elements of this collection are distinguishable but not distinct hence a is not a set since 2 is repeated in a let b is equal to a e i o u that is b is set of vowels in english here elements of b are distinguishable as well as distinct hence b is a set two form of representation of the set set builders from representation of set and tabular form of the roster form representation of a set in set builders form of the representation of set we write a between a branch which is that is a variable x which stands from each of the elements of the set then we stated of the properties and process by x we denote this property of p of x by a symbol or read as such that a is equal to x such that p of x a is equal to x such that x is the capital of the state a is equal to x such that x is the natural member and 2 is less than x is less than 11 the tabular form or the roster form the elements of a set listed one by one within brackets curly and the one separated by each other by commas b is equal to lucknow patna bhopal and itanagar and shillong b is equal to 3 4 and 5 6 8910 next finite set a set is finite if it is contains finite number of different elements for example the set of months in a year the set of all days in a week the set of rivers in up the set of all students in a class the set of bubbles in english alphabets a is finite set because it has four elements b a null set phi is also finite set because it has zero numbers of elements in finite set in finite set kya hota hai a set having infinite number of elements that are set where counting of elements impossible is called an infinite set for example a is equal to x such that x is the set of all points in the euclidean planes b is equal to the set of straight line in a given plane a is equal to x such that x is a set of the natural numbers null set for empty set or void set a set having no elements is called as empty set or void set it is denoted by phi or bracket is null for example a is equal to x such that x is a even number or not divisible by 2 a is equal to x such that x square plus 4 is equal to 4 x is the real and that is x such that singleton set a set having single elements is called the singleton set for example x a is equal to x such that x is present prime minister of india n is equal to 2 a is equal to x such that 4 pair set a set having two elements is called a pair set example 1 2 and 0 3 and 4 comma 9 etc equality of sets two sets a and b are said to be equal if every elements of a is n elements of b and also if every element of b is an element of a the equality of two set a and b is denoted by a is equal to b similarly a is equal to b if a and only if A is equal to four three two one and B is equal to one three two four. Then A is equal to B because both have same and equal numbers. 
subsets and supersets. Let A and B two non-empty set. The set A is subset of B if and only if every elements of A is element of B. In other words, the set of A is subset of B. If X belongs to A, that implies X belongs to B. Similarly, this relationship is written as A subset of B. If X belongs to A, that implies X belongs to B, which is read as A is subset of B or A is contained in B. Thus, if A subset of B, then B is called the superset of A, and we write B superset A. which is a uh, read as b is superset of a or b contains of a if the set a is not subset of b that is if at e least one element of a does not belong to b and we write in other words if x which is read as a is not subset of b properties of subset if the set a is a subset of the set b then the set b is called superset of the set a if the set a is subset of the set b and the set b is subset of a then the set of a and b are said to be equal a subset of b and b subset of a then implies a equal to b if the set a is subset of b and the set b is subset of c then a is subset of c that is a subset of b and b subset of c then implies a subset of c example let a is equal to 4 5 6 9 and b is equal to 4 5 7 8 6 then we write a subset does not subset b another example a is equal to 1 2 3 and b is equal to 3 2 3 1 that is a subset of b also b subset of a here a subset of b can also and express the equal equivalently we write b subset of a read as a superset of a so a set a is said to be superset of another set b if set a contains all the elements of set b proper subset set a is said to be proper subset of a set b if every elements of set a is an element of set b and set b has least one element which is not an element of set a this is expressed by write, writing a subset of b and read as a, a proper subset of b if a is not a proper subset of b then we write it is has a proper does not proper subset of b examples let a is equal to 4 5 6 and b is equal to 4 5 7 8 6 so a subset of a proper subset of b let a is equal to 1 2 3 2, and b is equal to 3 2 9 2, so a pro, does not proper subset of b comparability of sets two sets a and b said to be comparable if either one of the these happens a proper subset b and b proper subset a there implies a is equal to b similarly if neither of these above three exists a does not proper subset b and b does not proper subset a and a does not equal to b then a and b are said to be incomparable examples a is equal to 1 2 3 and b is equal to 1 2 hence set a and b are comparable but a 1 2 3 and b is equal to 2 3 6 7 8 are incomparable universal set any set which is superset of all the set sets under consideration is known as the universal set and is either denoted by o or either denoted by s or u it is one not that universal set can be choose arbitrary for discussion but once choose it is fixed for the discussion example let a is equal to 1 2 3 and b is equal to 3 4 6 9 9 and c is equal to 0 1 we can take s is equal to 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 9 nine. as universal set of these sets a b and c power set the set of family of all the subset of given set a is said to be be the power set of a and is 
expressed by P of A mathematically P of A is equal to B such that B subset of A so B belongs to P A there implies B subset of A example if A is equal to 1 and P of 5 and 1 if A is equal to 1 comma 2 then P of 5 1 comma 2 and 1 2 similarly if A is equal to 1 2 3 then P A power of set A is equal to 5 1 2 3 and 1 2 and 1 3 and 2 3 and 1 2 3 so trends so that if A has n elements then power of set has 2 key power n elements complements of set the complements of the set A also known as absolute complements of a set A is said to be of all these elements all those elements of the universal set which are not elements of A. It is denoted by A complement of C or A dash. In fact, the A dash and A C universal of U and minus A. Similarly, A dash is equal to X such that X belongs to U and X does not belong to A. Example, let U is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and A is equal to 2, 3, 5, 6, 7, then A complement of universal minus A is equal to 1, 4, 8, 9. Operation on sets. We will discuss mainly three operation on set, union of sets, intersection of sets, and differences of sets. Union of sets. The union of two sets A and B is the set of all those elements which are either in a or B on both. This set is denoted by A union of B and read as A union B symbolically of A union B is equal to X such that X belongs to A or X belongs to B. Example let A is equal to 4, 5, 6 and B is equal to 2, 1, 3, 8 then A union B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, say 6 or 8. Properties of union sets. The union of sets is commutative, that is A and B are any two sets, then A union B is equal to B union A. The union of sets associative, that is A comma B and C are any three sets, then A union B union of B union C is equal to A union B union C. The union of sets in idempotent, that is if A is any set, then A union A is equal to A, A union phi is equal to A, where is the null set, A union U is equal to U. Intersection of sets. The intersection of two sets, A and B, is the set of all the elements which are common in A and B. This set is denoted by A intersection B and read as A intersection of B, that is symbolically of the A intersection B is equal to X such that X belongs to A and X belongs to B. Example let A is equal to 1, 2, 3 and B is equal to 2, 1, 5, 6 then A intersection B is equal to 1, 2. Properties of intersection of sets. The intersection of sets is commutative that is A and B are any two sets then A intersection B is equal to B intersection A. The intersection of sets associative that is A and B and C are any three sets then A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection of C. The intersection of sets is the idempotent that is A is any set then A intersection A is equal to A, A intersection phi is equal to phi where is the null set? A intersection union is equal to A. Difference of set. The difference of two sets A and B is the set of all those elements of A which are not elements of B. Sometimes we call difference of sets as the re relative components of B in A. It is the denoted by A minus B that is similarly A minus B is equal to X such that X belongs to A and X does not belong to B. Similarly, B minus A is equal to X such that X belongs to B and X does not belong to A. Example, if A is equal to 4, 5, 6, 8, 
9 and b is equal to 3 comma 5 comma 2 comma 7 then a minus b is equal to 4 comma 6 comma 8 comma 9 and b minus a is equal to 3 comma 2 it is mentioned that a minus b does not equal to b minus a so difference of two sets is not commutated properties of difference of sets a minus b does a equal to phi a minus phi is equal to a a minus b intersection b is equal to phi a minus b union of a is equal to a a minus b b minus a and a intersection b are mutually disjoint symmetrical differences these symmetrical differences of two sets a and b is the set of all those elements which are in a but not in b or which are in not B, not A, it is denoted by A symmetrical difference B. Similarly, A symmetric difference B is equal to A minus B union of B minus A. It is to note that A symmetrical difference B is equal to B symmetrical difference A. Sim is symmetrical differences is the commutative in nature. Example, let A is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and B is equal to 3, 5, 6, 7. Then A minus B is equal to 1, 2, 4 and B minus A is equal to 6, 7. That is A symmetrical difference B is equal to A minus B union of B minus A is equal to 1, 2, 4, 6, 7. Law of relating operations. These two law are known as the associative law of union and intersection. This law of holds even for the three sets that is A union B union C is equal to A union B union C and A intersection B intersection C is equal to A intersection B intersection C. Theorem first for any three sets A and B and C they following uh, descriptive of law holds a uh, A union B intersection C is equal to A union B intersection A union C. Second, A intersection B in union of C is equal to A intersection B union of A intersection C. That is union and intersection are distributive over the intersection and union respective. De Morgan's law for any two sets A and B, the following law, none as the De Morgan's law, A union B complement is equal to A in complement intersection B complement and second a intersection B complement is equal to A complement union B complements. Proof. If X belongs to A union B complement does, is equal to X does not belongs to A union B, there implies X does not belongs to A and X does not belongs to B, there implies X belongs to A complement and X belongs to B complement. There implies X belongs to A complement intersection of B complement, there implies X belongs to A union B complement of X belongs to A complement and intersection B. So, A union B complement of is equal to A complement intersection of B complement. So, X belongs to A complement of B. There implies X does not belongs to A intersection B. There implies X does not belongs to A or X does not belongs to B. There implies X complement of A or X complement of B. So, X belongs to A intersection B complement is equal to A complement union B complement. Hence, A intersection B complement is equal to A complement union of B complements. Some more results on the operation on the set. If A and B are any two sets, then A minus B is equal to A intersection B. B minus A is equal to B intersection A. A minus B is equal to A, A that implies A intersection B does uh, equal to phi. Then A minus B union of B, A inter union of B. Venn diagram, Venn diagram ke madhyam se mein aap logon ko operations ke baare mein bataunga. Here we will learn two operations on set A, its application with the help factorial of the representation on the set. The diagram formed by this set is said to be Venn diagram of the statements. A set is the represented by circles or a closed geometrical figure inside the universal set. The universal set S is the represented by the rectangular region. First of all, we will represent the set of the statements regarding the set help Venn diagram. The set is the area of represent the set written as this, subset of this. And 
the union of set let a union b is equal to b here whole area are represented by b represented of a union b next the intersection of set a intersection b such that of a intersection b represent the commas area of the a and b this region and difference of sets a minus b represents of the area of the a is the is not in b next the complement of set a complement of a the or a complement is the set of those elements of universal set s which are not in a next the form the above venn diagram of the following results are clearly true na is equal to a n a minus b a minus b plus a n a intersection b n a b is equal to n b minus a plus n intersection b n a union b is equal to n minus a minus b plus n b minus a plus n intersection this then results of the a results the sum 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and the example in a college there are 100 students out of the 60 study the english 50 study hindi and 40 study the bengali and 40 study both english and hindi 35 study hindi and bengali and 20 students bengali and english and the 50 students all the subject in this regard accurate let e is english and h is, is hindi and b is bengali then a union b a e union h union b is equal to 100 then n formulas of n e intersection h is equal to 40 and h intersection b is equal to 35 and b intersection e is equal to 20 and e intersection h intersection b is equal to 15 we have the values of putting the formulas in final answer 165 minus 95 therefore data are not correct for next example in a college of 20 players football 15 players hockey and 10 players both football and hockey how many players only football or only hockey then rules of the n function of f intersection h complement this n f minus n f intersection h 20 minus 10 is equal to 10 next h intersection f dash is equal to n h minus n h intersection b 15 minus 10 is equal to 5 cartesian product of two sets next definition hai cartesian product of two sets the ordered pair an ordered pair consisting of two elements say a and b which is a one of them thus descending as the first elements and the other as second elements and ordered pair is usually denoted by a comma b the elements a is called the first coordinate or the first member and the element b is called the second coordinate or the second member of the ordered pair a comma b there can be ordered pair a b which have the same first and the second elements such as 1 comma 1 a comma a 2 comma 2 it is two ordered pair a comma b and c comma d are said to be equal if and only if a is equal to b and b equal to d let us understand it by an example the ordered pair 1 comma 2 and 2 comma 1 through the consisting of the same elements 1 and 2 are different because they represent the different points in the coordinates in plane cartesian product the cartesian product of two set a and b is the set of all those pairs whose first coordinate in elements of a and the second coordinate is element of b the set is denoted by a cross b and it read as a cross b or product set a and b that is a cross b is equal to x comma y such that x belongs to a and y belongs to b example let a is equal to 1 2 3 and b is equal to 3 comma 5 we have solution is the cartesian product a cross b is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 into 3 comma 5 is equal to 1 comma 3 1 comma 5 2 comma 3 2 comma 5 and 3 comma 3 and 3 comma 5 
that is final solution and b cross a is equal to 3 comma 1 3 comma 2 3 comma 3 5 comma 1 5 comma 2 5 comma 3 so it is clear that a cross b does not equal to b cross a similarly we can define it define the cartesian product of for n set one a1 a2 a3 and so on an a1 cross a cross a2 cross b a3 that is a n is equal to x1 comma x2 comma x3 and so on xn such that x1 belongs to a and x2 belongs to a2 and x3 3 belongs to this note a cross phi is equal to phi cross a is equal to phi and a cross a is equal to x comma y such that x comma y belongs to a phi does not equal to phi and phi does not equal to phi does not phi let a is equal to 1 comma 2 comma 3 and b is equal to 5 then the cartesian product a cross b is equal to 1 comma 5 2 comma 5 3 comma 5 that example of nest is the use the cartesian product is not commuted these examples and final book of the first semester ke liye aapke set and function ke liye differential calculus of s balchandra roy ki first book hai इससे आप फर्स्ट सेमेस्टर को आप सेट एंड रिलेशन के बारे में अच्छे से क्लियर पढ़ सकते हैं धन्यवाद